Hi and welcome to Themeco. In this lesson, we will talk about generalized coordinates. This is a term you will often hear in our course. Generalized coordinates are key to any multibody dynamics problem. Believe me, you will have to deal with them if you want to master multibody systems. So understanding what they physically mean and how to use them is of significant importance in our course. Okay, let me think. How do I explain what generalized coordinates are without the intricate mathematical responses you'll find in many textbooks? Let's make it simple. You know that in space, a body can have six degrees of freedom. That is, how many possible ways the body is able to move. Or better said, the body has three translations and three rotations. Of course, if we want to have a useful system, this body must be attached to the ground with a joint or joints. As you intuitively notice, joining the bodies to the ground will reduce the number of degrees of freedom. It could then result in three or four or one degree of freedom. These remaining degrees of freedom are independent movements, meaning that if I wanted to control these movements, I would need to put an actuator to drive the body to the position and orientation I want. If the degree of freedom is a translation, I could use, for example, a hydraulic or pneumatic cylinder. And if the degree of freedom is a rotation, I could use an electric motor for the same purpose. You get the idea. These independent movements on the body are what we call generalized coordinates. Generalized coordinates allow us to describe the position and orientation of the body at all times. You also notice that for a one-body example, such as a simple pendulum, it might be pretty simple to say which are the generalized coordinates governing the problem. In this case, I could define the position of the pendulum just by knowing the orientation angle, theta. However, if you have a multibody system consisting of many bodies, this task could result in a headache. You see, selecting the generalized coordinate on an intricate multibody system requires some time and study to understand the correct degrees of freedom left in each one of them. I hope the question popped in your head. The question being, is there another option to facilitate this process? The answer is yes. You can avoid the headache by choosing to use all possible degrees existing in the multibody system. Wait, what? Yes, you can imagine your multibody system without any connection between them. Not even the ground. In space, each one of the bodies will have six degrees of freedom. As the problem in our course are mainly planar, each one of them will then have three degrees of freedom, two translations and one rotation. Your set of generalized coordinates will be all the possible motions. If you have three bodies, you'll end up with nine generalized coordinates. If we are talking about the simple pendulum, then we will have three generalized coordinates. And at the end of the problem, we will see that those generalized coordinates do not change with time. You could be wondering if working with the full set of generalized coordinates is laborious. Yes, it is. That's the price we pay for not working with the reduced set. Imagine you have a multibody system consisting of 10 bodies. You will have to deal with 30 generalized coordinates. There are techniques to detect the reduced set of generalized coordinates. Unfortunately, we will not be covering them in our course, but I invite you to do some searching on your own. They are super interesting. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in our next lesson soon.